Cleveland Dallas, my wife. We're newlyweds. Just met. You know how it is. Bump into each other. Sparks yeah. happen. Yeah, she knows it's a multi -piss. Yeah, anyway. You tripped, slipped on the floor, and accidentally stuck your dick in my wife. You don't have to go through your life believing that. Nobody likes you. Everybody hates you. You're gonna lose. Smile, you fuck. You cannot blow up my head with your mind. Heads up, you people in the front row, this is a splash zone. <laughs> And welcome. Now, we get a lot of complaints that we don't feed. <laughs> and now there's a new turbo version, which we asked him to drive in the hope he'd see the light. This is the biggest 911 turbo they've ever made. And it doesn't even harm the sky very much either. The gas coming out of the exhaust pipes is less toxic than the air going into the engine. And I'm not joking, that's true. Bullshit. How's your mum's gift destroyed? What's your dad getting you? I'm getting a party on Friday, aren't I? You mean you're having a party? No, I'm getting a party for me 18th. The party, that's my present. Ha! <laughs> you gotta be fucking joking, that's it! Why is that funny? Well, I'm just saying, no offence, mate, but... It has been wonderful to escape the Westminster bubble, travelling round the country, seeing ordinary working people being shoved aside by my security staff as I visit another deserted factory, seemingly staffed by three people. I'd like to go over the real quick and easy steps to properly enjoy this beautiful miracle. Now that your battery is charged, you're ready to load this motherfucker. I'm an original, and Flav is extra crispy. Now, it's time to enjoy. Turn the pin on by pressing the middle button down five times in a rhythmic fashion. Sometimes, you just gotta have it, but fuck it, do as you please. Get yours today at the Snooper Market. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! You all right? I'm okay. Let's just get the fuck out of here, okay? All right. First things first. Don't do that. Boo! You saw terrible. Oh man, shite. On today's show, a woman here to confront her ex-partner. A man accused of being an unfit father finds out today if he really is the dad. The wife who claims she got an STI from her husband. The mum who said... Stop acting like such a baby. Dude, you scared the shit out of me. I mean, we say it's contamination. What do we do? So why talk to me here? There's, uh, been a contamination. Fucking kills, yo. Just grow some fucking balls! So it's like not dangerous? Not to us, particularly, no. I mean, we say it's contamination. I mean, I'm thinking like a like an Ebola leak or something. Ebola. Hi, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. After hard work, laboring and slaving away, I finally have achieved my lifelong dream. But to finally possess my own Tank. Look at this. Everybody comfortable? Get your motherfucking ass up when I'm talking. You some Justin Bieber, Molly Cyrus looking motherfucker. It ain't nothing but a stupid stereotype. What I'm trying to show you is that sometimes I get angry. How wonderful to be here! Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you something very exciting that happened to me the other day. I went to a live recording of the Jeremy Carl show in Manchester. <laughs> I learned some things that day. Some lessons that will remain with me for the rest of my life. 
Because at that live recording of the Jeremy Carl show in Manchester, I witnessed in front of my very eyes a gentleman take on Jeremy Kyle. I sat up in my chair. I was like, ooh, this guy's good. What the fuck is going on here? Have I just seen a man sidestep Jeremy Kyle two times in a row? We are going to build a wall. I want to get the wall started. The government of Mexico is terrific. I don't blame them for what's happened. I don't blame them for taking advantage of the United States. I love the people of Mexico. Many people from Mexico working for me, they're phenomenal people. You some Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus looking motherfucker. I think the thing I miss most of all about living on my own is the songs you sing when you live on your own. You know the songs you sing when you live on your own? Just walking around your house, start singing a song, don't you? Something like I'm gonna put the kettle on and make a cup of tea now. <laughs> I might have a biscuit or a crisp sandwich. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I need to be changed. There's something seriously wrong with me. Please, you take me back and turn me into someone else. You were a six-year-old little nipper when God smiled on mum and made her die. Two months after that, Dad packed his bags and left us to fend for ourselves. It was me that kept us together. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank Allah. Thank Buddha. Thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you're coming from or where you're headed to. We could all use a little help on the highways and byways of life. You're special. You could have been an inspiration to the world. Could have been a leader, a role model. Instead, you're Justin Bieber. Well, don't apologize to me. Apologize to yourself. It's no wonder your ass is single. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide. Boo! You suck! Terrible! Oh, man, shite! Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank Allah. Thank Buddha. Thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> Let me get something straight, Rev. Some Jew gets nailed to a cross like, uh, I don't know, a thousand who gives a shit years ago. And he's going to be the magic pill that pulls all of us scumbags to happiness, freedom. This club has lost its way. And I thought I was the guy that was going to change that. And then I realized that that arrogance, that that belief that one man can change it. Bad guys lose. Boo! You saw terrible. Oh man, shite. And then I realized that that arrogance, that that belief that one man can change it. I'm really excited about today as it goes, because I just qualified as a steward. This is my first ever flight. And, you know, being a steward's great, you know. Uh, the money's not bad, you get to travel a lot, and uh, meet loads of birds, <laughs> I might be wrong, but I've got a feeling that the guy I'm working with could be gay. I ain't got nothing against them, but I'm not one myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtly mention that I'm straight and uh, hope he gets the message. You look like a pop star. You sound like a pop star. Kick in the door, wave in the 4-4. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Scary bitch with a gun, that ain't a man to me. That's an animal. Boo! 
You saw terrible. Oh man, shite. You look like a pop star. You sound like a pop star. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. You all right? I'm okay. Let's just get the fuck out of here, okay? All right. First things first. Don't do that. Shite!